Fabulous Divas of a More Mature Age. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. I am the Eva Monroe, and today we are on my upper deck, which is one of three of our outdoor living spaces. So, my neighbor decided to mow today. He ain't mowed in three weeks, but you know, we're gonna try to get through this. Um, I wanted to share with you guys today some of my tips and tricks for making your outdoor space look really expensive and really fancy for pennies on the dollar. So you guys know that I love, love, love thrifting, right? However, I also love to thrift for my outdoor living space. And when I show you guys some of the things that I have thrifted and repurposed, you're gonna be blown away, I can guarantee you. Because sometimes I have the ability to just take dumb stuff that's nothing <laughs> and turn it into something that's very interesting. This wall of water over here, built by yours truly. Yes, I 100% built it from scratch. The glass is actually a shower door. So I'm gonna show you guys some things that I have um, purchased from thrift stores or yard sales or things I may have had around my house or maybe I took something out of the trash. There's a wasp flying around and I turned it into something really jazzy. So let's jump right in. Okay, so the very first item here, she is a whole vibe. And all my wig wearing sisters, y'all know what this is, right? This was a wig mannequin. And what I did with her was I took a saw and I chopped the top part of her head off. Disrespectful, I know. But I pulled all the styrofoam out of her. I stuffed her head with potting soil and I put an asparagus fern in there. Now, she's kind of rocking a cute little hawk right now right but when the asparagus fern as, asparagus fern grows it gets really big and really bushy and she is oh she is going to be absolutely stunning so i love her and what i did was i first spray painted her with a rock textured spray paint and then i went over the top of that with black just to make her look like she was made out of stone so I already had her. The asparagus fern was a dollar. And of course, you know, all gardens, gardeners have potting soil. So this was a literally a $1 project. Okay, so there you go. Okay, so the next thing, this is something, there are two things over here that I never ever pass up on when I'm thrifting, ever, ever, okay? And they are plant stands and plant pots. Um. Pots are expensive. You guys know when you go to TJ Maxx and Home Depot and places like that and you want to get a nice pot, you want to get something pretty or unique, they're not cheap. So I never pass up on those whenever I see them in thrift stores and I like to make them out of strange things, okay? Stand. This, the stand that this fern is on, and I'm not sure if you guys can see it good. I'll probably have to photograph it. It is actually a wall shelf. It's an iron wall shelf. So you see the, you can see the iron detail under there. And all I did was screwed it to the banister and I set a plant on top of it. Now over here, this is, I'm gonna pick this up. <laughs> this is another thrifted item. I have just stuck a, stuck a poem in there, but I paid 50 cents for that um from a thrift store and then what this fern down here is actually in is it is in a trash can yeah i said it it's in a wooden trash can so that is actually a wooden trash can it's not a plant holder it's not a plant stand it's a trash can so you can make anything turn anything into a plant uh pot if you have cocoa liner or go buy some cocoa liner it's like four dollars and you can use things like baskets and boxes and different things like that and turn them into actual plant stands or i'm sorry pot holders okay one thing that i think absolutely makes an outdoor living space 
it softens it up it brings it it really brings the indoors out our lamps so let me give you a few tips for lamps now any thrift store that you go to they're going to have an entire wall of lamps right pick the one you want pick the shade you want paint it the color you want cut all the electrical cording and everything out of it and i actually will take a solar light and glue it hot glue it inside there and then hot glue the shade back on the top of it or screw the shade on the top of it and you have a lamp that really works at night i really feel like it adds a really nice flare to your outdoor living space now a little trick for you if you have things on your tables um i i, I found this lady I didn't get around to doing what I'm getting ready to tell you guys about. I thrifted her. She's like 75 cents. She's super duper cute, right? Um, but she needs to go to she needs to go to surgery. However, if you have things on your table and you live somewhere where it gets kind of windy or it is windy all the time, take your hot glue gun and glue it down to the table okay so that when the wind blows it doesn't knock the lamp over every time at the end of the season when it's time to take the lamp inside because you need to take the lamp inside I'm telling you the shade is not going to make it through the winter I learned this the hard way all you have to do is just pull it off the table it'll come off very easily peel the hot glue off of it put it up so you can bring it back out next year okay this coffee table this is actually an indoor coffee table i picked it up at a thrift store for five bucks it was brass i brought it home i re-spray painted it and i use it as a coffee table for my outdoor living space look at my those roses came out of my garden yes thank you this year i actually splurged on an outdoor rug but typically i don't let me tell you what you can do especially if you're going to be putting it on like an upper deck where there's some airflow i wouldn't do this on a concrete patio go to the home depot they have these pre-cut rolls of outdoor carpet for seven dollars they come in black gray and tan and last year i had tan and no one was the wiser about the fact that it was just a little funky seven dollar roll of carpet and it comes in seven by ten so it actually filled up this entire space out here. So a really nice way to save money. But this time I had a little, I had a few extra coins. So I wanted to get a really nice rug. And I picked this one up from Target. Um, I like fake food, right? And so I picked this little fake piece of cake up off of Amazon. It is, it, it's so cool when people look at it, they're like, is that? And it's like, no, it's not real. So. In case you saw that when I was showing the coffee table and thought, wow, she just has food sitting out. No, it's actually not real. So this is what the entire outdoor living space up here looks like. It's just very neutral, very cozy, very inviting. When I take you guys out back, you will see things are nowhere near as neutral as they are up here. Um, I actually built that wall of water because our neighbors cut down their big huge tree so they could see what was going on over here and I said I got something for them so I built that um, it was actually it was very easy to do so I actually did a video on how I did that but yes this is a space up here that I absolutely love and adore it's very nice very cozy okay now we're out in what I like to call the Garden of Eva and everything everything that you are looking at on this table has been thrifted one thing that if you're into cuteness you should never ever pass up on and i hope you guys can see this if not i'll take it down our bird cages oh my god how stinking cute right um i thrifted the plant stand for a dollar i found the bird cage for two dollars and i simply just filled the cage with cocoa liner and put my favorite purple pansies i love a purple pansy y'all i love a purple pansy okay so what is this apparatus right here duh it's candle holder hello <laughs> 
it's a candle holder isn't this so exciting not only did i thrift the candle holder but i also thrifted the terracotta pots and this is um oh geez she's something blue that's in here and then every um other one in the middle are purple pansy and then in the middle we have purple pansies but oh what a love right just so super duper cute we had rain last night so everything got rained on and i've been working back here today on some things i made a succulent pot so that's my my dirt and my mess that you see um absolutely love everything on this table okay so this is another outdoor living space let me tell you what was thrifted out here okay we can start with the lanterns yes she thrifted the lanterns um the lanterns are 100 percent thrifted i got two of them together and then i found the big one at a yard sale um on the coffee table one thing i never ever pass up on when it comes to purchasing things for my outdoor living area are like big beautiful colorful bowls and things like that and that bowl that you see there in the middle it's full of potpourri but i love the colors of it it tied in so well with the area candles candle holders i love having those in my outdoor area i don't spend a lot of money on them most of the time i try to buy the fake ones but i love sitting outside and having real candles burning so unfortunately if it gets really hot where you live and you leave them out in the heat sometimes they will melt like i don't know if you notice the gangsta lean on the one in the case in the candle jar with the lemons it has melted because i had it in the sun so i had to relocate it i found that candle holder at the goodwill and i love it because it's got a little stand for the candle and then you could put whatever you wanted underneath the bottom of it so i filled it up with lemons you guys i thrifted the furniture out here yes i did um i was at work one day and i was on craigslist i wasn't supposed to be but i was on craigslist and i saw the furniture for 60 dollars and i was like um excuse me i have an emergency i have to go i drove like 40 minutes away and <laughs> threw it in the back of my car because i could not pass up on it so craigslist is your friend um we have another lamp here and you guys saw me actually make that lamp last year so um i did a tutorial on that and my fern my ferns are missing they're not hanging up in here because they're sitting here getting taking in a little bit of sun today so i have to show you guys this rug this doormat um because this is this is out my this is the she shack in the back the garden of eva and this is where i come and do nothing think about nothing and be absolutely nothing <laughs> and a friend of mine actually makes prints these doormats and he made this one for me and i thought i was like you know what that's so perfect so parental discretion advised but when i'm out here that is so true zero given okay one of my favorite repurposed items ever is this wheelbarrow this was actually my wheelbarrow that i used for gardening for 10 years over 10 years and one day i went to push it and it just basically fell apart and so it has some sentimental value i cannot get rid of it so i was like you know what i'll turn it into a flower pot a flower bed so i drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom of it filled it up with potting soil and i just put every delicious beautiful color that you can think of i mean there is purple pinks fuchsias green orange and it's filling in beautifully but if you ever find an old wheelbarrow i definitely say pick it up that's hammock island so we lay back there and chill and watch movies we we put up the uh, theater screen 
and actually just chill and watch movies back there. It's a whole vibe when it's dark outside and you're under the stars. A whole vibe. I had to show this because it, it's gorgeousness, right? Look at that. Um, I actually thrifted the short blue um, vase is actually a water feature. I got that from a yard sale like four years ago and it used to be in our front yard functioning as an actual water feature but um we put a pond in front as well so i took it down and i put this little area together with the wind spinner and oh just delicious right i love it the garden bowl i did have to pay full price for that um i thrifted this bird bath it was actually just a like resin type bird bath and it was white so i picked it up I repainted it I painted it red and I put a little solar fountain in there and so the hummingbirds who are my friends I need to fill their thing up they come they eat they have a bath and they love me and I love them back I know it sounds weird okay so this is a flower bed that's way out back that I have I actually just put this in this year and I just crammed it full of everything that I love. All of the flowers and everything that I love is in here. It's so colorful, it's so pretty. But if you look right there in the middle, you can see a pair of pink hands sticking up out the ground. <laughs> and that's just an example of what could happen to somebody if they come out here messing around. No, I'm kidding. Um, someone gave me a mannequin, a full mannequin. I got rid of it because I didn't have space for it but somehow the arms stayed in the garage and my husband was cleaning out the garage one day and he's like um i'm gonna throw these away and i was like no i'm gonna use those in my garden and so i dug a hole put them in and they just they just fit i love it it's super duper cute okay when we talk about a repurpose this is a serious repurpose right back here so what's going on back here? That was our old grill gazebo. We had an old metal one. Now we actually replaced it with, let me come with that one. I thought it was just much nicer. Um, I wanted to keep it and I wanted to turn it into a little garden arbor. So I actually covered it in wire and I planted hyacinth bean vines over there and they're starting to take off. They grow super fast. But when those vines start to cover that trellis, go on B, that, that is going to be so stunning. Um, I'm, so, I'm so excited, I can't wait. I don't know if you guys can see the vines over there. They're really starting to take off, but they don't take long though. They'll take, it takes them a few weeks to really get going. I have on a lot of perfume, I guess. This bee will not let me be great. <laughs> now in the middle, what's going on in the middle is another repurposed item. It is actually, it was a water fountain. It was the one that was sitting in the middle of a flower bed before we built the pond in the back. So I painted it and i added that dish on top of it and i keep it full of water so that the birds the regular birds can come and have a bath and a drink of water and hopefully stay out of my pond and from under my gazebo so there you go so thank you all so much for joining me for this video today i have tons of work to do I gotta get back to work, you know, I'm still gardening, still working here. So until I see you again, be blessed. And think about this one very important thing. There are no rules in gardening. Someone told me, someone commented in my garden video previously that I had too much stuff in my yard. And I was like, girl, you ain't seen nothing yet cause I'm adding everything. Eventually this yard will be to a point to where there probably is no grass. So do what you want, do what you love. This out here is actually a space that I get to fill full of everything that I love and adore. So be blessed and bye for now.